Hey guys, my name is Mary. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, if you are new here, make sure to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Um, today I'm going to be doing the stay home reading tag. Stay home reading tag. This was created by Ariel Ariel Bissett. I can't pronounce her last name. I'm really sorry. Um, so yeah, I'm going to jump to the questions. How is your reading going while staying home? It wasn't going that amazing for the first month. Um, but now I've gotten to the point where I miss it. Because I used to do it on the bus ride to and from school. And so I just like kind of was like, okay, whatever. I miss it. So I started reading some of my favorite books. And yeah, um, I'm very excited to continue though. So, I got out of it for a while, but I'm getting, slowly getting back into it. Um, where have you been reading at home? Um, so, physically reading, it's been mostly in my bed. That's just, that's just the way it is. I don't really read at my desk, because that's where I get work done, and if I mix where I work and where I enjoy free time, I will never get work done at my desk. That's where I need to get the most. Uh, that's where I get the bulk of my work done, so I can't be there. And my bed is normally because I um, am the most comfortable there. I don't have anything to do when I'm in bed. If I'm in my bed, I literally have nothing. That means I have nothing to do, and I just want to enjoy my free time in my bed. Like, that's that's where I enjoy my free time. I don't enjoy it, like, watching a movie on the couch or something like that. No, I like I like being in my bed. So if I ha get all my stuff done for the day early, I will go lay in my bed for hours and do nothing. It's amazing. Um, so my bed, and then if I'm audio booking while I'm doing some math work or something, then that will be when I'm at my desk, but physically reading, it's always in my bed. Um, okay. Best book you've read during isolation? That's really easy. I've only completed one. The Selection by Kira Cass. I have a secret video coming out with this in it, and it's my favorite book. Not of all time, but it's up there. What is your favorite feel-good book? That would probably have to be the love interest because I really, really like the love interest in that book. If you haven't heard me blabber on about this book, sit down because it's a lot. So basically, it's a it follows the this one guy, um, and in this in this future, it's our world but set in the future. So in this so. In their timeline, they take guys and girls, but we follow the guy, and they basically train them to become the partner of a person who will impact history in a really weird and, and distinct way. Like, they do this for Olympians, they do this for NASA, people who work in NASA, they do this for, like, the presidents, um... Grammy nominee and winners, like, important people, okay? And so the way that you stay alive in this is you have to beat the other guy out. So there are two people going for this same love interest, and one of the um, competitors dies. So this one would die. And the way that this one wins, out of these two, is that this one gets the love interest. That's exactly it, and it's very exciting and you follow that story, and there's also a twist that's in there, um, and it was really, really good, and I very much love it. I get happy vibes every time I look at it. I would also say this selection, but I really don't feel like talking about the same book for forever, even though I could talk about that one for, for literally forever, but I'm going to try and keep it varied. Okay, book you wish you could buy or borrow from the library. That would have to be Midnight Sun. Because I don't have a copy of it, and I really want to reread it, because I think I remember either watching it or reading it, but I don't remember which it was. Like, I know the reveal, I know the storyline, like, I know what happened, but I don't remember if I watched it or read it, because I've seen the trailer. So I don't know, and I would like to know. It's a very odd thing. Um, I actually have a library book that I never got a chance to return before um, 
the stay at home order happened and so I I just have it I also have a schools like one of my schools library books with the same exact thing I just didn't get a chance to because I got it either that day or the day before uh, the stay at home order was put in place Arthur you want to shout out during this time so the Arthur I want to shout out is Cal D, D, D Dietrix Cal Dietrix Cal I'm gonna pop it up right here I cannot pronounce his name but this is who I want to uh, talk about because I've never heard them mentioned in all of the booktube videos I watch. I watch a lot of Arabo Set, I watch a lot of Lala, I watch a lot, or Kayla, I watch a lot of Jesse, um, watch a lot of Haley, and none of them have ever talked about this book. What? So I am trying to get people to read this book because it's amazing. I don't think it's that old. It came out in 2017, so it's not even that really all old, and it's a really good book, and I never hear people talking about it. It's amazing. It's It's got sci-fi in it, it's got romance, it's got action. It's amazing. You all need to read it. It's amazing. But the last question is, what is your Reading Rush TBR? Uh, I don't have one, because the Reading Rush is no longer going on, and it's also not before the Reading Rush anymore. But my, um... But... If I were going to participate in the reading of CBR, I would just continue reading books I like. So I would continue on with my secretive video and continue with the next book I'm reading for it. And yeah, and just see what I get to. Because I don't really, because with um, readathons, I just read whatever I want to read. I don't like having to stick to challenges. I did it one year with book two on, and that was only because I wanted to get a certificate. And that was literally it. And I was like, Yay, now I'm never doing that again. Oh my gosh, did y'all hear that? And my knee popped so loud. Um, but yeah. Thank you all for watching today's video. If you liked what you saw, make sure to give it a thumbs up and be able to check back here whatever day in one week. Because I don't know what day I'm posting this yet. I just know I'm going to start posting videos since I haven't decided a day yet. But if you want to, I post a cover every Monday and a vlog every Friday and this whatever day, probably Wednesday, I'll, I post a booktube video every Wednesday. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!